Welcome to the International Pie Show Association's How to Play Iro Pie Show. We will be referencing the rule set found in Pie Show Official Rules and Gameplay. Iro Pie Show is a version of Pie Show focused not on the capture of the opponent's pieces, but reaching harmony with your own. For playing materials, uh, you will need a standard Pie Show board, as described in the Getting Started section of this book and also displayed in our Introduction to Pie Show video. In Iro Pie Show, each player receives 22 tiles. You get 4 fire tiles, 4 water tiles, 4 earth tiles, 4 air tiles, 1 white lotus, 2 rocks, and 3 knotweed. Gameplay. In Iro Pie Show, the point isn't to take the opponent's tiles, but rather your goal is to create harmonies. You, a harmony occurs when two tiles, regardless of their type, lie on the same line that intersects a midline. So if you look at the image displayed here, there are four midlines. There's the black, blue, red, and green uh, midlines drawn there. Those are midline one, two, three, and four. So a two pieces lying on the same line that would cross over that one of those midlines is a harmony. So for example in the next image here you will see that the two black pieces lie on the same line and they create a harmony over midline one. Now the white pieces would be creating a harmony over midline four but due to the fact that one of the black pieces is in between them it's actually disrupting that harmony. Uh, as a note, the images here, as it states, are simplified to black and white just for demonstration purposes. Tiles and their movement. So, in Iro Pie Show, the tiles, you may use uh, standard tiles uh, in a uh, standard Pie Show set. Uh, they are just labeled differently and do different things. So what is normally the lily for Iro Pie Show is the air tile. We are going based off of what uh, the book here is listed. If you have specific elemental pieces or you would prefer to use other pieces, go for it. Just make sure you know which ones are air and which ones are water, earth, fire, etc. The air tile moves uh, four spaces at any time in any direction, and it can change uh, direction during the move. It can move on to all areas, and it cannot be taken or take tiles. Uh, the water piece moves two spaces at any time in a straight line, can only move on white areas, and can be used to make two simultaneous harmonies. So unlike other pieces, the water tile can be involved in two harmonies, which can uh, really help make the time in which it takes to make all four of your harmonies much quicker. Uh, the earth tile moves three spaces at a time in a straight line. It can only move on yellow or unpainted areas and can make harmonies uh, with and through rocks. So. Uh, rocks will be described later, but they basically prevent harmonies, whereas Earth can harmonize through them. The fire tile moves three spaces at a time in a straight line. It can only move on red areas, and it is not affected by the knotweed, which is explained later, and it can destroy any knotweed it's touching, so it can act as a way to remove knotweeds from the board. The white lotus moves five spaces at a time in a straight line. It can move on any color. It cannot take or be taken by tiles. It forms harmonies for each player, so both you and your opponent can use either person's white lotus to create a harmony. It is not affected by knotweed, and it can move over tiles. The knotweed place, uh, is placed on spaces opposed to the points of the board and it prevents surrounding tiles from moving. Uh, it does not disrupt harmonies uh, due to the fact that it is not placed on intersections. The rocks can be placed on any point except the home point and cannot move or be moved 
cannot be taken or take tiles, and their main purpose is to disrupt harmonies. So if placed next to a water tile that is in harmony with an earth tile and it is now blocking that path, uh, the harmony no longer exists, except for the uh, case that uh, if one of the tiles it is blocking is an earth tile, it counts as a harmony or can be moved through. When you place a tile onto the board, it must enter on the home point. Any tile can move on a border between two different colors, as long as it can be moved on one of the colors. Tiles take each other by moving on the other tile. Rocks, the white lotus, and air tiles cannot be taken this way. All tiles move less, or all tiles may move less than their maximum amount. Any of the game. The game is over when one player creates a harmony through each of the four midlines. When a player moves into a position in which they have a harmony across each of the four midline, midlines, the opposing player has one turn to try and stop them. The player with the harmonies does not have to inform the opposing players that he has the harmonies. Uh, it is the opposing player's job to notice these harmonies. If the opposing player does nothing to prevent the harmonies, then the player with the four harmonies has to proclaim that they have won. Keep in mind that the proclamation of victory takes up a turn, and if it is false, the turn ends and the game continues. Uh, the image here displays an example of a winning position by the player using the black tiles. As you can see, they have a harmony across both or all midlines, uh, midline 1, 2, 3, and 4, while the player with the white pieces has no harmonies. That concludes our video on how to play Iroh Pie Show.